Hey guys, it's Ralph W5VE here, Whiskey 5 Victor Echo, as we say in the Internet at Phonetic Language. And I'm working uh, 17 meters here on Amateur Radio. Just talked to a guy in Bosnia, Herzegovina, <coughs> in Eastern Europe. And I'm calling uh, N4 NDR right now. Let's see if he comes back. N4 NDR. Put it in my uh, logbook just in case. I oh, did come back. Okay, gave me a plus five. That's a very good signal. Very good signal. And he has a uh, plus six. That's even better. Uh, this is the new digital mode, FT8. Very nice mode to work. I'm enjoying it very much, as are thousands of other hams. It's the hot mode, digital mode in uh, amateur radio now. You look him up. He's in Maitland, Florida. Thanks for the contact. And uh, as you can see, <coughs> we use computer uh, enhanced uh, control, but I'm using an actual ra uh, uh, radio transceiver. This is going out over the air. I'm bouncing the signal off the ionosphere to talk to him. Mm, looking around for my next one. This is a, sort of like fish, and you send out signals, but uh, FT8, which was developed by Joe Taylor, K1JT, a Nobel Prize winner, and his development team, is uh, very low signal, uh, uh, low power uh, mode, lets you get through when, uh, when nothing else is going on. I'm calling a guy in Hungary now, and his call is HA1RB. Uh, he's a minus six. He may hear me. I'm fighting what we call the North American Wall, and that's the fact that there's so many hams on at any one time in the U.S. It's hard for stations in. Uh, uh, other countries to hear us, to pick us out. But that makes it even more fun. It takes a little skill. And uh, he's, he hasn't come back to anybody else yet. I'm still calling him. And he's up to a minus four, which is a decent signal. His name is Janos Pixo, I guess. Oops, he went back to someone in the western part of the U.S. So I'm calling a guy in Argentina. There's lots of signals on, so you can uh, get somebody. Uh, he's a minus eight, but that's still possible to work. Five. LW5DR. Calling him again. You don't have to have the uh, volume turned up on the radio. The computer won't work the same anyway, but I like hearing the signals. I think it's nice music. JT65, which is uh, Joe Taylor's previous uh, um, very popular mode, uh, took about five minutes to make a, a uh, contact. 
but this one the transmissions are only 15 seconds long you make a complete authenticated authenticatable con contact in uh, about 1.5 minutes the guy in Argentina is still calling CQ which means does anyone want to talk to him to him but he hasn't decoded my signal yet I'll try him maybe one or two more times so I'll find somebody else I love amateur radio. I've been a ham for 54 years now, ever since I was in high school. And there's always something new. Okay, the uh, guy in Argentina went away. I'm calling the guy in Hungary again. So I change that in my log in case he comes in. What I say is called, what is that J1RB? It's right there on the screen. So I've got two computer screens, the so one on the left is uh, the WJS JT-X program that we use to control the amateur radio transceiver. And the uh, one on the right that you can just see a portion of is where I log my contacts. We log contacts, we submit them to uh, uh, a couple, three places online, and uh, uh, as does the uh, the station we're talking to. And uh, if they're authenticated, we can use them for contests and uh, uh, all sorts of awards. I've got tons of awards. Okay, I gave up on the Hungarian guy, and I called uh, N four S R N. Yeah, I haven't worked. I don't think I've worked them on this band. Charles Jessen in New Hampshire. Oh, he's already he's coming back to me. So we're I'm in North Carolina, near Asheville, North Carolina, in the mountains of western North Carolina. And uh, so it's pretty good pretty good uh, bounce off the atmosphere up to uh, New Hampshire, which is, uh, uh, I don't know, several hundred miles, seven, eight hundred miles, something like that. So I gave him a minus eight, he gave me a minus nine. That's uh, actually the program figures out the signal strengths. We don't have to do it. And it's, uh, by the way, you notice I'm not moving around much, it's, it's automated. Uh, I answer him, he sends me a signal report, I send him a signal report, he tells me he receives it, received it, I tell him 73, which means best of regards, and uh, then he sends me best of regards back, and that's an official contact, and he's doing that right now, or had just done it, sent me the 73, so I'm picking out another station, WA9, WSJ, I don't know where he's at, but i got to save this guy. There we go. And uh, now I can put in WA9, WSJ. My computer's hooked to the internet. I use a service that has, called QRZ.com, that lets me look him up. He, ooh, he's in Idaho. Boise, Idaho. And he came back to me, so I'm ta now I'm talking... I was talking New Hampshire, now I'm talking to, uh, digitally of course, digital signals to uh, Idaho. And he gave me a minus five, no, I gave him a minus five, and a minus oh five, I should say. And he gave me a plus zero zero, that's uh, pretty high, but you can go higher than that. Okay, uh, now I'm sending him best of regards. That's how feisty things go. They go really fast. So that's it. You've got to see me make a uh, couple of contacts. I've made about 15 today. I made like 50 yesterday. These are feist. It's, but it's like eating peanuts. You can't just eat one, you know. You keep getting the handfuls of them. So, uh, 
It is a tremendous amount of fun. Amateur radio, a lot of people think it's old hat, but it's really, uh, uh, we're, we've been, hams have been around for over 100 years. We're always on the forefront of communications technology. That's what we do. So this is Ralph Roberts here in Alexander, North Carolina, in the mountains of, uh, the, near the Great Smoky Mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains, saying 73, which means best of regards. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, brief and rather informal introduction to FT8, digital mode on amateur radio. See y'all.